There we go. it. Welcome back. Have you finished your assignments? Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our resto momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Very good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. Perhaps before...
Ravenia. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere? There's something about them that's so... knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. Speaking of secrets... I do want to tell you why Victor Rookwood's after me. He's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock's after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a portkey that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps explain a bit about what we saw back at Horntail Hall. Of course, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. Even the centaurs won't know. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you- Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help! Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. them be, Elric. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. 
Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <sighs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Sigits are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please, help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be... In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with Snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? Isn't moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. Revelia. Are you familiar with the hamlet of Irondale? It's south of the castle. I think the cave that Doran wanted us to find is near there. Natty, is everything all right? <sighs> there are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind, and I feel peace for a day or two. But this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Matty Belliland. He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. It's not your fault, Natty. There's nothing you could have done to prevent it. That is what my mother says. But he died protecting me. And I cannot help but feel guilty over that. I find myself relieving the moment more often than I would like. I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Each day they remain free, they do more damage, leaving people like Archie Bickle to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get them. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get them, beginning with Harlow. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful.
Off on another adventure, are we? It's you! Oh, I can't thank you enough for rescuing my dear Isco. He often speaks of the bravery you showed. You have my undying gratitude. Hello, Mrs. Rabe. How is Mr. Rabe doing? He's resting at the moment, but seems to be in good spirits. He's lucky I found him in time. We both are. If I'd known what you were planning, well... Let's just say I'm desperately glad you're all right. Rookwood's criminals aren't to be trifled with. Promise me you'll stay safe. Your bravery is to be admired, but taking unnecessary risks, well... Don't worry, Mrs. Rabe. I can take care of myself. Yes, I believe you can. Thank you again for everything. What do you have in store for me this time? Revelio. Never stopped me before. Proud. You made it! I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours, and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive, especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. 
It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, really. Rumour was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumour, or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Fwoopa song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. Why am I not surprised? First the Fwoopers and now this.
We need to find moths for those spinners. Lumos. Perhaps the runes on the walls have sent you to finding the moth. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Lumos. Lumos.
did it! I was hoping we wouldn't have to do this again. Confringo! Shall we take a closer look? You read my mind. even more beautiful close up. It's got to be here, I just know it. Revelio. to do. I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here, assuming this is where the Moonstone is. Which means we're one step ahead of them. directly at the moon. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the henge. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the henge. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the henge. Whatever it is, it had better have to do with Snidgets. The clock is ticking in that regard, isn't it? Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there.
How's your grand doing, by the way? <laughs> Nothing keeps grand down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidges. I hope so. <laughs> Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. <laughs> We can safely say we know where the Moonstone goes. Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same, though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Garan that I've managed to see not one, but two mooncalf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually, I... I'd love to hear about how you and high wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, high wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed Highwing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted mooncalves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed Highwing was... Also the night I ran away from home, a poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Why didn't you tell me this before? After all our time together? I'm sorry, I thought about it so many times, but I'm ashamed of who I, who my family is. I never fitted in, but the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with Highwing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. What was it like growing up in a family of poachers? The thing I remember most was how much we moved around, always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous and nowhere a child should ever grow up. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving the dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo, trying to make their fortunes there. Acromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognized? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. That said, I suspect someone must have recognized me. That's how they got to Gran. 
I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol, and we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the Moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidgets lies in the moonlight? Of course! That's it! We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. That sounds a fine idea, but I would like to look around a little before we leave. Of course. I'll just wait here and try not to fall asleep. Revelio. I suppose it is rather late, isn't it? We can head back to the castle if you've seen enough moon calves one day. Yeah. Oh, yes, please. I'm ready to leave if you are. Nice to see you, my young friend.
she's devastated. She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Turn me in. Sebastian. Did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, Anne, I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. Don't worry, Sebastian. I shall speak with Ominous. Thank you. You're a good friend, truly. No matter what happens from here, I'm glad we met. Poor Sebastian. Ominous. What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. We do have a choice. What good will it do to turn him in now? He clearly regrets everything. He's not going to do anything like this again. We've both heard that before. But we also need to think about Anne. She's lost her health, now she's lost her uncle. Do you really want to take her brother away from her too? I... I understand what you're saying. Perhaps you're right. As much as I believe that Sebastian should pay for his actions, we'd only be punishing Anne as well. I hope we're doing the right thing. I'll talk to Anne. If it comes from me, she'll agree with this decision. Thank you, Ominous. You're a good friend. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know. I can't believe we found ourselves trapped in that scriptorium. Never again. Or a skeleton. I'm on the right track. Revelio. Oh, my exams. <laughs> Not a one of them deserves more than a T. Now, Demi guys. I 
I think I know where we can find Doran. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest and we can tell him about the symbol the Mooncalves made. Revelio. If Ogwart survives the reign of this headmaster, I think we should have a moon calf in charge. There's Ollivander's. I hope he can help me craft the Keeper's Wand. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Yes. Professor Fig sent an owl informing me that you'd be coming. He was a bit cryptic. Said you need to have a special wand crafted. That you'd bring me the materials. Yes, sir. I have them here. Oh, my. How extraordinary. Remarkable design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken ones, of course, but this is something else entirely. <laughs> Keeping me on my toes, aren't you? I think I can work with what you've brought me. Let me see what I can do. It is done. I should warn you, 
I've never seen a one like this before. My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? Might this sudden visit to the Wand Maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? I have no idea what you're talking about. That repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it! <laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said, children should be seen and not heard. Deed. Oh. Yeah. Huh? You've 
made a grave mistake. You should have joined me. Rain is finally over. I'll need to send an owl to Natty right away. For now, though, I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what's happened. Revelia. Abandoned long ago, no doubt.
Revenia. And you say they made it after you placed the Moonstone? Do you know why or what it means? Does it have to do with the Snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas, and yet only run so deep. It's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did. And I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best. Deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. You knew the poachers would try to kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend. But I shall say that I was not surprised. It was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me, until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. I believe the symbol created by the Mooncalves dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden, and serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please, go on. I have seen that symbol only once, on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The Snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. You said you divined a series of events before our paths crossed. What were they? I saw the arrival of a stranger, the threat of an enemy, and the return of an old friend. I believe now that you are the strangers, the poachers are the enemy, and the old friends are the Snidgets. I also saw two places tied to these events. The cave with the moonstone and the henge. The latter was bathed in moonlight. What makes you so sure the symbol is where the Snidgets are? I do not know. It is what I have read in the stars. Fortunes play out as they are intended. I am merely a messenger. I shall say that fortune favors us today that you would show me a symbol whose provenance I recognize is not coincidence, but fate. If you're right about this place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there. We cannot afford to lose the Snidgets once again. I 
I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. to now. one of those tables Professor Shah mentioned. I got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? It's the one the Mooncalf's made at the Henge. Of course Doran implied as much, but to see it up there... Could this actually be where the Snidgets are hidden? Let's find out. Doran's waiting for us just up ahead. I'm ready if you are. Can you believe it? Actual Snidgets! I'm glad we seem to be a step ahead of the poachers. It is a little strange we haven't heard anything from them. If we're lucky, they're still poring over Grand's research. There was a fair amount. We, on the other hand, had Doran to guide us. Even if the poachers do somehow stumble upon this place, we shall be long gone. Greetings. I hope we haven't kept you waiting long, Doran. Not at all. 
Then again, it is not I who awaits your arrival. Do you have the Moonstone with you? We do. Good. It is as important to what happens next as both of you are. So what does happen next? What are these pillars here? A safeguard, I suspect. There is only one way to find out. And as for how to go about that, the two of you may know better than anyone. Revelia. I wonder if the pillars move at all. At least for a time. You're not coming in with us. If the Snidgets are here, the herd will want to see the truth of it for themselves. Elec especially. Go on without me. I will rejoin as soon as I am able. I haven't seen my grand study. Look at the murals on the wall. They're all creatures. This place must have been built to protect them. They had nothing to fear. What makes you say that? The poacher camps always felt depressing. It's hard to explain, but the feeling was palpable. At least to me. The sense I get here is of safety and calm. Confringo. Quite the opposite of the poacher camps.
Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Whoever built this place certainly liked to read. And the books are all about creatures. Luma, Luma. your gran would love it here. She would. I can't wait to tell her all about it. Revelia. Wager this isn't the dead end it seems to be, but how to get through? Look at this place. Ugh. Revenia. Oh, my God. 
us all of them. I'll prove you unharmed. I had hoped to return before it was too late. We're fine, but if you hadn't got here when you did, I led them here, Thorin. You fought with us against your kind. I am glad to have witnessed this. I now believe all that Doran told me. They are the ones I saw, Elik. Finish your work here, brother. All the events you divined have not yet come to pass. is to break the charm. You want us to... I only ever wanted to see them safe, which they are. You should do it. themselves and surely once word gets out of their reappearance <sighs> no harm will come to them the centaurs will see to that you have my word thank you doran for helping us to find them and to fight for them it is you who deserves the merit child you did what the poachers would never have remember that You both fought bravely today. Allow us to carry the mantle from here. If it's all right, Doran, I think I'd like to stay behind and spend a little more time with the Snidgets. <laughs> 